this is primary school made easy and today we will be multiplying and dividing tens and units by 10. When we multiply by 10 we move the digits one place to the left. Here's some tens and units and every time we multiply by 10 we make the number 10 times bigger. So we're going to multiply 42 by 10 by moving those digits one place to the left. There's the four one place, and there goes the units. We fill in the units column with a zero placeholder, and we can see that 42 times 10 is 420. Now when we divide by 10, we move the digits one place to the right. There's a handy grid and our tens and units, this time 19. Each time we divide by 10, we make the number 10 times smaller. So we're going to make 19 10 times smaller by moving both those digits one place each to the right. Move the nine, move the one. No zero placeholders needed this time. 19 divided by 10 is 1.9. Right, let's have a closer look at multiplying tens and units by 10. So we're going to do 75 times 10. There's our grid. And we're going to pop the 7 into the tens column and the 5 into the units column. Here we go, 75. And we're multiplying by 10, so we're going to move both of those digits, one place each, to the left. There we go. Now we're going to need a zero placeholder in the units column. And then we can see that 75 times 10 is 750. Now what about if we are dividing tens and units by 10? Let's do 75 again, but this time divide it by 10. Here's our grid. So we're going to put the 7 in the tens column and the five in the units column. Now, because we're dividing, this time we'll be going to the right. We're going to move both of those digits one place each to the right. There goes the five and the tens. There's no zero placeholders needed this time. And we can see that 75 divided by 10 is 7.5. Now, if you have trouble remembering which way to move the digits, just try and remember these. When we divide, we go to the right. I was right to share my sweets. And when we multiply, we move digits to the left. I left my times on the train. Okay, let's have a little bit more of a practice. Here's some more examples. 25 times 10. Pop it into our grid. 25, there we go. Multiplying by 10, I left my times on the train, so those digits go in one place each to the left. We need a zero placeholder in the units. 25 times 10 is 250. 19 divided by 10. There's our 19 into the tens in units. Dividing, so we're going to the right. I was right to share my sweets. One place each to the right gives us 1.9. 19 divided by 10, 1.9. 71 times 10. There's a seven and a one into the tens and units columns. Times 10, we're going to the left. One place each to the left. I left my times on the train. Zero placeholder. 71 times 10, 710. What about 64 divided by 10? Let's pop the 64 into the tens and units. There we go. I was right to share my sweets, so we're gonna move those digits one place each to the right. There they go. 64 divided by 10 is 6.4. 83 divided by 10. Pop them into the tens and units column. Dividing, so we're going to the right. I was right to share my sweets. One place each to the right. 
83 divided by 10 is 8.3. 46 times 10. There's our 4 and 6 going into the tens and units columns. And we move them one place each to the left. Left my times on the train. There's a zero placeholder. 46 times 10, 460. 32 divided by 10. 32 into the tens and units columns. Dividing, so we're going to the right. 32 divided by 10, 3.2. And the last one, 58 times 10. 58 into the tens and units column. One place each to the left. 58 times 10, 580. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope that was useful and I will see you next time.